before we get started with today's video, I just made a sale. Like, literally, right before I hit record, I made a sale. This is going out. This is a brand new designer purse. Michael Kors. Look at this. This just sold on eBay. Legit Michael Kors. Brand new. It's like a, like a tan leather with gold trimmings. There's the try to show you the logo a little better. I can. There it is. Michael Kors, brand new with tags. In fact, so new it still has the plastic wrap from the factory, as well as the shopping bag it originally came in. So, total profit, 100% profit on this one. This one I actually got for free. It was given to me, uh, and it, it was given to me by my mom. She's like, here. Sell this, keep all the money. I was like, sweet. She's got a bunch of purses from Michael Kors, so I guess she got it, never used it, didn't want it, didn't care about it. So thank you, Mom. But $100 plus shipping. It's going to Uruguay. Uruguay. It's an international shipping uh, item which is a, or a sale, which is great. Uh, I have the new <clears throat> eBay international shipping program just started, and my account already has been upgraded to that. Now, now everybody has the... Uh, EIS shipping program yet. Some people are still on GSP, global shipping. That's the old way. But what I love about EIS is um, if you sell something on EIS, which eventually we will all be on the EIS program, when you sell something internationally and then they want to return it, eBay takes the return, handles the return for you. You get to keep the money and they keep the product if it ever gets returned. So if this person gets this purse and decides they don't want it, they can return it, it goes to eBay, I keep the money, they keep the purse. I don't know if they liquidate it, they probably do. So, but EIS stands for eBay International Shipping and it is replacing Global Shipping Program, GSP. Because with GSP, you would have to take return and just deal with the loss. But now, EIS covers you. Anyway, not the point of this video at all. Just thought I'd mention that real quick. This is the point of this video though. This is the Logitech MX Mechanical Mini. So, let me just say this. As you all know, I have the trackpad from Apple, right? I opened this up a week ago or something like that. So, um, I was wanting to do all Apple peripherals, and here's why I didn't ch choose the Apple keyboard. I love the idea of Touch ID. I do. I think that is great. Two things kept me from buying the Apple keyboard. I didn't really consider it until I was about to hit purchase. Number one, it's only available in white. If you want the black Apple keyboard, you have to get the full keyboard with tin key. And I don't, I hate tin key. I hate it. I use it at work. That's fine. I don't need tin key at home. Not even for eBay. I'll just use the number row. It also is because it's, I think it's too long, especially for the space I have. I can't do a tin key. Some people love tin key. I'm not one of those guys. If I don't need tin key, then I don't want it. Now, I need it at work. But here, yeah, I deal with numbers on eBay, but not in the same way as I do at work. Um, and number two, there's no backlight for the Apple keyboard. Why give the Apple keyboard Touch ID with no backlight? I thought it had backlight by now, and it doesn't. So, because it's not in black, and because there's no backlight... I couldn't do the Apple keyboard. However, the Logitech MX Mechanical Mini has backlight. And it's in dark gray slash. There's some keys that are black, but mostly dark gray. But this will go perfect with the black trackpad. I don't like white peripherals. I just can't stand white peripherals. They turn tan after a while. Either from years of smoke, which I don't smoke, or years of dirt, which everybody gets dirty hands over time. You know, just... They, there's just everything turns it starts yellowing i have some apple keyboards to prove that so this is the mx mechanical mini what sold me on this particular one was the color the fact that the kilo keyboard is backlit it is wireless but you can also plug it in the USB C. um but it's also mechanical but i have the tactile keyboard uh keys so these are the tactile quiet so you get more of a thwack and less of a click and i love that so I'm excited to open this up. I'm so excited. So excited that I don't have a knife. I do have these weird bent looking scissors. I think these are, I think it's for cloth. I think, comment below, are these for cloth? I think they are. 
Anyway, I'm going to use them as a knife. And uh, I currently, as you may remember, I have the Bell Delphine keyboard. Currently hooked up to the Mac Mini, which I'm going to keep. I'm going to use it on a different setup, though. But, yeah, I just wanted something that, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do, it like, an all-black peripheral theme, except for the microphone. I mean, it's black, but it's also got burgundy, so it's staying. It matches enough. And I'm keeping the mouse pad, because I'm a weeb, but um, the mouse is obviously being replaced with the trackpad. However, I think I'm going to get the MX mouse in addition to having the trackpad. There are some things that I just use the, the mouse for still. But I use mostly the trackpad. So. I'm thinking about, I don't know if I want the black Magic Mouse, if they still make it in black. Or if I want to go, with, I think I may go with the Logitech MX Mouse. 3S or whatever it's called now. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open the. Why is the box not open? What's holding on? Did I not cut that? Oh, I thought I cut that all the way. Okay, hold on. Suspense, I know. Okay. Now? Yes. All right. It's kind of weird doing it this way. I usually have a top-down view when I open up stuff. But uh, here's the keyboard. going to set it off to the side just for a second. Uh, here's the little Logitech bolt thingy. I love this camera on the iPhone. It, it's so easy to zoom and focus on what I'm holding in front. I love it. I love it. That's why I'm using the iPhone to re record videos these days. I'm telling you. The back camera is so good. It's it's amazing. Look, look. I'm in, I'm in a high definition. Very clear. Very crisp. I love it. And pairing it with the blue microphone is quite, quite nice. Okay. I just hit myself in the head. Uh, and here is the USB-C cable. So, cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unwrap the keyboard. And then we're going to switch angles and show you more of what it looks like. I paid for two-day shipping. I got here at five. Two-day shipping is a scam. It's okay. Look at that. Isn't that nice? I love the way it sounds already. Hear that? That's like a, a quiet thwack, which I don't mind. Uh, but I just love, I love mechanical keyboards. You guys know that. This is so comfortable to type on already. I can already tell. Okay, so real quick, I'm installing the Logitech Options software. I do have the keyboard connected and hooked up to Bluetooth. Uh, but right, right now, we're going to go through the software real quick on Mac. So this is going to allow us to um, do a little bit of customization. Uh, yeah, we're going to use Bluetooth, absolutely. Uh, okay, I need to give it permission to use system settings, Logitech, yo. I love having a 4K monitor. I'm, I'm telling you, it's it's a game changer. 30, 32-inch 4K monitor. I think it's, it's either 32 or 30. No, it's 32. 32-inch 32 4K monitor. It's massive, okay? And soon I'll have a second one. Very soon. Just wait on that insurance check. Come on, give me my money. Apparently, because I have a higher end piece of hardware, I'll leave options installed because it's not going to be the only Logitech thing I get that uses options. So, plus it's not that not that big piece of software and take up that much space. Okay, options plus is asking for password now. Yes, we're going to install Options Plus. It's going to ask me a bunch of things again. So I'll just, I'll speed this up for you guys, obviously. Then we have to sit through all this. Why would you change while I'm in the middle of typing? Let's ask you a bunch of questions all at the same time. No, I don't want personal offers. I just want, I just want to continue with demo. So meet MX Mechanical Mini. Hit next. Mute, numb mute. Yeah, got that. Dictation emoji. Good to know. And what's cool about this keyboard is both Windows and Mac. Um, 
compatible, not only compatible, but also it has the Windows and Mac keys like side by side. So it has like, for instance, command slash alt and whatever that thing is slash control and whatever that thing is slash start. I'll show you here in a second when I do a POV of what it looks like. So once it's done, I mean, you can kind of see it on this screen, but it's really small. So here's where you can change the lighting effect. So we have static, boring static, contrast. I'm not really sure what it's doing. Is it blinking slow? Breathing. It breathes slowly. Waves. Probably what I'll have mine at, honestly. Reaction. It just lights up a, a specific key. And random. It just randomly lights up keys. I'm going to leave mine at waves. Waves. I use waves just on just about all my RGB keyboards. Now, this is not RGB. It's just white. But still, I like the wave pattern I always have. So that's what I'm going to use. Set your F keys. Switch between media and function. Keys. Anytime you're pressing function escape. Use the F keys freely without needing to hold function. Okay. Pair your keyboard out with up to three devices. It's pretty cool. So and you can pair with a Windows and a Mac computer. It doesn't have to be just Mac only or just Windows only. So you're all set. All right. So backlighting is, yep, that's what I'm going to leave it at. Absolutely. And that's, that's worth installing the software for that alone. I don't ever use the function keys for anything other than, like, Macintosh reasons, which is what's currently set to. So I don't need to toggle just F1 is F1, F2 is F2, and etc. I can use the brightness, emoji, dictation, screenshot, mute, play, pause, etc. So. so before I end the video, I do want to show you the POV of the video. or of the, I want to show you the POV of the keyboard. Um, and, uh, yeah. My cat just dumped all of this food because he doesn't like having a clean cage. I clean it every day. Every freaking day. Okay. Anyway. Not the, not the point of the video. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I came meow. Indeed. Yeah. You're probably hungry now because you spilled all your food all over the place. Okay. So here's the keyboard. As you can see. It's doing the wave. It's very nice. Very nice indeed. So. Sounds good. Looks really good. I'm currently charging it, so uh, it's currently at 70%. So once it's charged, I'll unplug it, and then it'll be completely wireless. Uh, so this lasts about 10 days with the backlight on. If you decide you don't want the backlight on, then it's like two months before it needs to be charged again. But me being me, I'm always going to have it on. So I'm going to have the cable tucked away back there for when I need it. Plug it in, and then I'm good to go. I'm off to the races, but as you can see... Very beautiful, very tactile, yet quiet. And these keys pop off pretty easily. I've seen other videos where they pop off fairly, fairly easily. So it's an amazing keyboard. It's an amazing looking keyboard. I love it. It's, it's very nice. Well done, Logitech. It's definitely got a Mac feel and look and feel to it. So very much um, liking the aesthetics, indeed. So, and obviously it pairs well with the trackpad. So, and again, there's my microphone. So this is the next thing to be replaced, is the uh, Bell Delphine mouse, either with a black magic mouse, or maybe I'm leaning towards MX Black Master 3S, whatever. So, yeah, pretty cool. And then this won't be needed anymore. Nothing wrong with it, it's just, it's going to be wireless, so... Yeah, there we go. Ignore those cables. I know. It might drive some of you crazy. I know. But I need them to function. But at least they're pushed way back there. On my beautiful 4K monitor and my poopy 27 inch curved ViewSong monitor. I got a good deal for it though. I paid like 80 bucks for it. So, nothing wrong with it. It's just not 4K. You gotta have 4K. So, there you guys go. Thank you all so much for watching. Woo, trippy. <laughs> It looks so weird. 
So, all right, guys. Take care. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. More to come. Stay tuned. See you all in the next video.